right now, Chicago police gearing up for another weekend of possible crowds of young people flooding downtown. CPD's goal to prevent what we saw last weekend with chaos erupting in mass arrests. CBS 2's Stephen Graves live in the loop with details on the plan. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Brad, it's a plan no one really wants to hear about during the busy holiday season, right? Chicago police with a canceled day off here increased security in and around Millennium Park, where we're told there could even be a closure if chaos erupts again. Kids come downtown, we can't just start making arrests. But today, Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown warning if chaos erupts, like what we saw last weekend, that's what will happen again. Last Saturday, officers arrested 21 young people who came downtown near Millennium Park. One, a 15 year old who was accused of beating a CTA bus driver and some of the young people among an estimated 500 were even younger. Parents, you know, dropping 12 year olds, 14 year olds downtown without any adult supervision is a recipe for police having to be, uh, you know, the parent. Our city has a role to play. Our state has a role to play. Our education system and our parents have a role to play. Joseph Williams is a community leader and parent of a teenage daughter. He also mentors youth and wants the city to do more to engage groups like his in situations like this. His daughter telling him many of these young people come downtown to have a good time. It's just sometimes you have these other children that come out with them that makes it bad. But then my daughter say, it doesn't make it no better when the police don't know how to interact with our youth. Superintendent Brown says outreach with young people has increased over the years. Some efforts include youth programs. And on nights like this, community outreach workers are embedded in the crowds to help mitigate situations. It has worked in the past, uh, not so much last weekend. And police continue to monitor social media where these gatherings seem to gain steam or fizzle out. And while there are more support patrols in areas like State Street, the Chicago Loop Alliance says there are no plans right now to close any retail businesses. Reporting live in the loop, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Stephen.